discover the top new tourist attractions on the horizon. There's a lot to look forward to in 2017, with plenty of noteworthy theme park attractions, museums, and marketplaces opening, giving adventure seekers, culture vultures, and foodies yet another reason to hit the road. Whether you're itching to explore a brand new entertainment complex in Detroit, brush up on history at a sprawling American Revolution-focused museum in Philadelphia or check out a contemporary cultural space in Cape Town, a myriad of forward-looking attractions are worth adding to your travel list. Without further ado, here are new attractions that are well worth the trip. Lego Ninjago World Orlando Florida plenty of new attractions are opening in Orlando this year. Most notably, Legoland Florida Resort's Lego Ninjago World opened in early 2017, featuring an interactive dark ride where guests can blast fire, lightning and ice with their hands. Other standouts include a rock climbing wall and meet and greets with beloved characters Kai and Nya. Plus, Legoland Beach Retreat will open in April. And Pandora. The World of Avatar, the largest expansion in the history of Disney's Animal Kingdom, will feature floating mountains, bioluminescent rainforests, and a banshee flying attraction, as well as new after dark entertainment. Courtesy of Legoland California Resort. Epic Discovery Breckenridge, Colorado this summer. Expect a myriad of new events and activities at Breckenridge Ski Resort. Epic Discovery will feature interactive exploration zones, hiking trails, a zip line, an elevated alpine roller coaster, a rock climbing wall and more. Plus, kids can learn about the area's history, flora and fauna. In the summer, you can ascend the wall at the top of the Colorado Super Chair, a chair lift, and enjoy fast-paced thrills on with an aerial adventure tour, think. A canopy tour but from tower to tower instead of tree to tree, or zip line along a 1,200 foot long route. Courtesy of Breckenridge Ski Resort. Ray May I Modern Art Gallery of Saskatchewan Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in 2017, plan to visit Ray May I Modern, a new museum featuring contemporary art on the banks of the South Saskatchewan River in Saskatoon, Canada. The museum will be less than B data RTE to sanitize equals bold less than slash B greater than home to the world's most comprehensive collection of Picasso lino guts, showcasing nearly 8,000 pieces from the former Mendel Art Gallery, including 13 paintings initially donated by Fred Mendel in the early 1960s. The space will also showcase works by contemporary indigenous artists as well as a series of rotating exhibitions. Plus, visitors can check out an active learning studio, along with a fireplace and open lounge areas, an art and design store, a restaurant and a 150-seat lecture theater. Courtesy of Remei Modern. Our Tech House Washington, District of Columbia On your next trip to the nation's capital, check out Our Tech House. The 15,000-square-foot digital art space will showcase a variety of technology, theater, art and music-oriented exhibitions. Located between Lanfon Plaza and the Smithsonian in southwest D.C., the multi-purpose space will also feature cultural programming hosted by Art Soiree, a local art-driven nonprofit organization that curates and promotes work from contemporary artists. The space is scheduled to open in early 2017, courtesy of Art Tech House. Moxie, the Wolf Museum of Exploration plus Innovation Santa Barbara, California Moxie, the Wolf Museum of Exploration plus Innovation, opened in February in Santa Barbara to feature three stories of interactive exhibits focused on science and technology. Exhibits include a giant strummable guitar where kids can learn about how sounds get transmitted, and a recording studio that features clips from Fox Films, where kids can create their own soundtracks. Also, in May, the La Entrada de Santa Barbara Hotel and Santa Barbara's Lower State Street waterfront area will receive a major transformation with the opening of a long-awaited resort, the Hotel Californian, as well as a sprawling complex featuring three restaurants, 
wine tasting rooms, retail space and a public plaza, courtesy of Moxie. Seattle Chocolates Seattle Chocolate Lovers Take Note Seattle Chocolates opened its doors in January to the public for the first time in its 25-year history with the Experience Chocolate Tour. This delicious and interactive tour gives you an inside look into the daily operations at this celebrated Northwest confectioner. During your tour, a $10 admission fee is required. You can stroll past chocolate-making contraptions and learn about how chocolate is produced and innovative flavors are created. Courtesy of Karen Morris, Seattle Chocolates Museum of the American Revolution Philadelphia Come April, Philadelphia's Museum of the American Revolution will be the first major national museum to tell the comprehensive story of the American Revolution. Thousands of history-filled artifacts will be on display at the sprawling complex. Plus, visitors can expect high-tech interactives such as a 45-foot ship that visitors can board and a life-size replica of America's first liberty tree that visitors can walk beneath. You can also anticipate exploring George Washington's headquarters tent, where he lived throughout much of the Revolutionary War and made decisions that would change the course of history. Courtesy of Jeff Fusco, Museum of the American Revolution Ferrari Land Spain Tarragona Spain in April, a new theme park, Ferrari Land, will debut at Port Aventura World, located near Tarragona, Spain. The 20,000-square-foot site will feature a variety of attractions dedicated to iconic sports car, with rides such as the tallest vertical accelerator in Europe and even a Ferrari-inspired hotel. With speeds reaching from 0 to 112 miles per hour in 5 seconds, get ready for an exhilarating rush. The new theme park for car enthusiasts is conveniently located about 70 miles southwest of Barcelona, courtesy of Ferrari Land Spain. The Silo Cape Town, South Africa in Cape Town, the silo will open in the restored historic grain silo building in the city's Victoria Alfred waterfront. The building which underwent a major renovation to create reimagined spaces designed by renowned architect Thomas Heatherick, will now house the Silo Hotel's 28 luxurious rooms and suites, restaurants, bars, a spa and rooftop bar, lounge and pool. Best of all, the new space will sit atop the much-anticipated Zietz Museum of Contemporary Art Africa, which is scheduled to open in September. I stock photo. A velodrome and sports complex Detroit keep the Motor City on your radar. One of the largest sports and entertainment developments in the country is currently in development. Located in the heart of Detroit, this 50-block, mixed-use development will unite Detroit's midtown and downtown and is centered around the new home of the Detroit Red Wings and Pistons. The arena, which is slated to open in the fall, is not the only Detroit opening in 2017. This year will bring continued reinvestment, including thriving businesses, over 40 new restaurant openings and the April debut of the M1 rail system, a 3.3-mile streetcar connecting several neighborhoods along Woodward Avenue. Courtesy of Kremer Design Group, Detroit Fitness Foundation. Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad State Park and Visitor Center Cambridge Maryland The 17-acre Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad State Park and Visitor Center opens in March with a recreational open-air pavilion and a legacy garden. Located along the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad byway on Maryland's eastern shore, this location was intentionally chosen for the park because the view is preserved by the surrounding Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge. Only a few structures remain from Tubman's time in the Chop Tank River region. Make your way to the 10,000-square-foot visitor center to check out the exhibit hall, where you can learn about Tubman's role as a conductor on the Underground Railroad and her work as a freedom fighter, humanitarian, leader and liberator.